The desires you manifest, the desire you have been waiting for, the desire within you to be successful or have abundance or have a healthy life or anything you are manifesting, where is it? How much time is it going to take? And how long do you have to wait? These are all the questions that does pop up in one's head once they start to manifest. Manifestation is a technique of fulfilling your desires by using the power of your own mind. Your mind is the answer to all of your questions. How can your mind be all of the answers to your questions? To know more about this you have to stick with me till the end of this video. Hello and welcome back to my new video. If you are new to my channel hello, in this channel, I keep on posting interesting techniques of manifestation and all about attracting your desires. So if you are interested, then don't miss any of our videos and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. So today's video is going to be about how to determine where your desire is, where your manifested desire is. For someone the desire may be far from them, for others it might be knocking on your doorstep right the next day, but you are impatient, you cannot wait for one more day. If it is far away you might want to try some other techniques. If it is near you might want to prepare for that fulfillment of desire. Well, we cannot really prepare for the desire, but we can have an assurance of where our desires are. So before starting, if you want to learn about manifesting and creating the life you want, I have a law of attraction guide that contains eight step-by-step -step lessons in both audio and PDF format. You can access it from the link in the description. So without any further delay, let's get started. Manifestation, as I said, is a technique to fulfill your desires with the power of your mind. Our mind is more vast than it actually seems. It is the one that controls us. It is the one that takes decisions for us. It is the one that holds so much power alone that when we think of something, our mind attracts it for us. You might have tried manifestation before, or this might be your first time. Whatever experience you have with manifestation and the law of attraction, or no experience at all, everyone is fixated on one question, how long? How much time is it going to take? Is it happening tomorrow, or is it happening in a year, a month? If not a year, six months. What is the time period for the desire to come knocking at our doorstep? Well, the first thing is that, if you are manifesting with the correct instructions, asking this question, are you not trusting the process? Trusting the process is important. When you keep something in the oven, you do trust that the food inside is going to cook, isn't it? Well then, before you start to manifest, you have to trust the process, you have to trust the universe, you have to trust that there is a higher self that is trying to connect you with your desires. When you trust, when you put the faith, you will feel that you are much closer. The universe is always sending signs. The universe is never still. If you are asking the universe for something, the universe is aware that you are asking for something. And the universe is trying. The universe is doing its best. All you have to do is try from your side. You have to trust. As I said, the universe is not there standing still. And thinking, this person asked for this thing. I will give them their desire on this day in specific. No, it's the universe, not a government office. The universe tests you. The universe has to know what that desire mean to you. If the desire you are manifesting means a lot to you, the vibration you've sent out to the space is much higher than the vibration of manifestation that is going to be of value to you for some time. Your manifesting desires are not something that will entertain you for free of cost you have to work hard for it, you have to be focused, and you have to understand that manifesting is an act to use your power, to use your mind's power in something meaningful. If you want some chocolates, and you are trying to manifest the chocolates, that is not going to happen, because with some effort you can get the chocolate by yourself. The universe does not have to be present in front of you to give you the chocolate. So if you are manifesting something that can be done by you, like physically be done by you if you just put on some work into it. Calling it a desire and manifesting it is unnecessary. Your mind has power you have to use it in something special that holds meaning in your life. Now if you have that kind of manifestation, something that has much value in your life and you want to try something, 
you still are thinking about some techniques that will determine where your desire is or your desires are. It's okay, it's common to be curious, and it's common to know the full manual before you try out the stuff and make use of it. So what is the technique? What is the manual to know where your desire is and which lane is it taking? To know that you have to understand your subconscious mind, you have to know your subconscious programming. Your subconscious programming is something that is inbuilt in you. Your conscious mind is much later in your life and your subconscious mind is first programmed in the starting of your life. The fear, the excitement, the sadness, the happiness, everything was programmed into you at the beginning of your life. And based on these things, you are programmed to protract your desires. Your subconscious is the one that is aware of your desires and your behavior is the one that indicates how close or how far off you are from your desire. You have to notice your behavior, your subconscious senses that your desire is near. And when it senses it starts to prepare you, your behavior starts to change. Even if it is on a small scale, your behavior is changing. And you have to notice that to know where your desire is. The answer to your question is within yourself. You know that your desire is on your way, and your conscious senses it too. But you tend to ignore it, you tend to jerk it off and think it's just a feeling. It's just a delusional feeling. Well, that delusional feeling is something that's called gut feeling. And it's not delusional. That's your mind sending you signals. That your desire is your way. It's your intuition and not a delusion. We have to be honest with ourselves and we have to trust ourselves. And we don't trust ourselves sometimes. As I said, we call it a delusion. Now how can we separate delusion from intuition? How can we really catch on to those signals? What we have to understand is ourselves. We have to know where we're currently standing. Spiritually, where are we standing? And through that, you will unlock the door to know where our desires are. The way to determine and have access to that intuition or gut feeling is to write down your desires on a piece of paper. And no, I am not telling you to write down the affirmations. Just write down the desires you are manifesting, not a paragraph or a sentence, just a word. A word is enough. Write it down in a piece of paper and read it out loud. Read one of them at a time and observe what you feel. Don't press down feeling onto yourself, just pure feeling when you say that one word. For example, if you are manifesting a car, your dream car, write down the model name of that car and read how do you feel. The pure feeling is what determines how far your desire is. The feeling can be anything positive or negative. You have to observe it, especially the negative ones. The one that feels impossible because that indicates that you are out of alignment with your desire. It indicates that you are completely not believing that you can even have that thing. For manifestation to work, you have to have that faith in yourself before having trust in the process. So you have to have that trust that you will be getting your desire. You have to trust that you are capable of it. Your subconscious has to be rewired because your subconscious is the main cause of your beliefs. For you to manifest with all your powers, you have to know how to control your thoughts, which will eventually reprogram your subconscious. The negative thoughts you get have to be examined properly. You have to go to the root of the negative thought related to that topic you are manifesting. Think about what were you told and try to change the perspective of it. You can choose your life. You are capable of choosing your life for yourself. So do it properly and do it wisely. By saying this, we have come to the end of this video. If you have come this far, I thank you for listening to me. If you liked this video, press that like button down below and share it with your friends and family. It would mean a lot to me if you even subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thank you.